Okay, I was reading on a article on roadandtrack.com about Tesla Model S and Model X. Although they, those cars can go 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds and achieve a 12 second run and drag strip, they're not very fast at all. I mean, they could, they go less than 155. Or actually, no, I take it back. A Model S can only top out at 155 miles an hour. And there's a reason for this. There's some gentleman's agreement that no car should go faster than 155 just to reduce fatality issues. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, I get it. But here's the thing. I don't want to compare a hypercar and a sport on a regular sports car, but I'm going to do it anyways. A Bugatti Chiron, top speed, 288. According to federal regulations, it has to be dubbed down to 260. Seriously, guys, are you kidding? I could imagine a Tesla Model S going faster than that. A Tesla Model S, I think I should. I think it should at least go over 180 miles an hour. The Alfa Romeo Giulia, it's a sedan, just like the Tesla, and it can go over 180 miles an hour. Okay, so that's the reason why that Tesla Model S and Model X cannot go faster than they should go. And I was also talking to a friend of mine on Skype that he was telling me that oh, electric cars are slow. They're not gonna beat. Uh, they're not gonna be Hellcats and other cars off the off a straight line as far as top speed goes. Okay, indeed, I agree with that. But that still doesn't change the fact that Teslas can beat Hellcats and other performance cars off the launch. But yeah, they're not very fast on top speed. So it, it's all thanks to the gentleman's agreement kind of thing I don't know how it works but it's some regulation that no car should go faster than they should go alright that's all